Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, April 18th. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful Easter. Um, today doesn't feel much like Easter or like spring. Um, here in Illinois, we got, I don't know, between one and two inches of really wet, heavy snow last night. Um, which was not a pretty sight to wake up to. Good morning, or hi, Roseanne, good morning, yeah. Um, but the snow is pretty much all melted. It's still flurrying out on and off throughout the day, but by Saturday, it's supposed to be 75 or 77 degrees, so it's not gonna last long. It just wasn't a very pretty thing to wake up to. Hi, Annie, Jackie. Um, so again, hopefully you all had a wonderful Easter. We had a great Easter. We went up to my mom and dad's, and so it was my sister and one of my brothers and myself and mom and dad. So it was fun to reminisce. We had the photo albums out, looking back through. They played some cards. I'm not a card player. Um, but the others played cards Saturday night. We had late nights, and it was wonderful. Good old-fashioned mom's cooking was great. So leave some comments as to what you did um, for Easter and who you spent time with. And I'm going to get this up so that I can watch for comments. All right. Who else did I miss anybody? Annie, hi. Hi, Sheila. Okay, so last week's winners of the comments and shares. First one is for sharing the video. And this is the In Color Jewels. And the winner of this is Becky White. Becky, I think I have your address, um, but message me again just to make sure. And then the comments, I did a drawing for the Metallic Pearls, and Luann is the winner of this. So I will be getting these out in the mail to you guys. Okay, so I saw some comments here. Cheryl DeSico had 13 people. Who else? I saw somebody had, Annie had 22 people. Um, so Annie, what's your specialties? What do you make for Easter? Um, okay, Roseanne, I was thinking about you and I was going to text you today to see how baby is coming along. Obviously we don't have a baby yet because we haven't heard from you on that. So we're still waiting. They spent Easter with her. Um, who else? Sharon, I agree, ate way too much on our way home from mom's last night. Tony said, what are we doing for dinner? And I said, popcorn, because I'm so full from eating all weekend. So, oh, yay. Jackie didn't have to cook. Her daughter hosted. So that's wonderful. Glad everybody's time went well. Okay. So again, it's April 18th. I thought I would give you a couple weeks to get ready for May Day and some little May Day baskets. Um, whether you want to put some little flowers inside these baskets or if you want to put just some little candy treats, they're both kind of small. One is smaller than the other, but both of them, I used the Flowering Fields designer paper so that we had flowers to go for that. Hi, Sandy. Um, and then I used the Flowering Tulips stamp set just for the words. Let's see, I used this one down here, just thinking of you today. So I thought that was a great one just to be able to have just a little treat and they know that you're thinking about them. So I'm looking around on anything else. Let's go ahead and turn the camera down. Hi, Tammy. Are you still on granny duty? All right, let's change the camera view so you can look at the ceiling. Nope. Okay, let's get this face down. And back up, close your eyes. We're going to zoom up, get you back in the holder. All right, let's get this stuff and this moved. Okay, there's that. All right, I think we are ready to go. Okay, so again, we're using the flowering tulips. Um, and this time I'm using just the grating. I think this set has some really good gratings. This is from the mini catalog, which is still carrying over it will I believe that one will actually be in is in the new annual catalog okay all right so let's see let's start with we'll do this one first let me get my little pieces here okay so I'm using the flowering fields designer paper and there's the back side of it 
okay? And I cut this into six by six. So this little basket, little bag, um, works with any of the designer papers. Anything that you have that's six by six, you can create this and it's just a lot of fun. So I started with, I scored both of them at three quarters of an inch on the top because we are going to fold that down. And that's okay that they're not the same. This, on the back of this, it's just a real kind of blotchy print, okay? So again, we scored it at three quarters of an inch at the top and then an inch and a half on the other three sides. So start with six by six, three quarters of an inch, and then one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. And we did the same thing on both of them. Okay, then what we're gonna do, and first I have to fold them on the score lines just a little bit because I can't see where the line is. It's such busy paper. Okay, and so we're gonna cut the bottom two squares off from just one. Okay, and so we're gonna cut up. And then, oops, I didn't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to cut that one off. And then we're going to cut this one off. Okay. Those are garbage. We're not going to use those anymore. Okay, then on this one, we're just going to cut up. We're not going to cut those squares off. We're just going to cut up to the score line. So again, I think I can see a little better from the back side. So we're going to cut on the score line up to the score line. And on this one, we're going to take just little wedges out of the sides. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Hi, Becky. You weren't on. I announced that you are one of the winners from the shares and uh, yeah, from the shares last week. So I said, I think I have your address, but if you can message me it again, I think it's in there, but just in case, I don't want to miss out. Okay. So again, on both of these, we're going to fold them to the inside, but we're not going to do it quite yet. Let's see. So we are going to put adhesive and we're going to adhere one to the other, okay? And so let's get our adhesive. And let's see, we're gonna do it on this one that we have the cutouts on. All right, and so then we are just going to adhere this over this, lining up our score line with the edge of the paper. Look at that field of flowers, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing on this other one. So we're gonna put adhesive here, whoops. You know what I'm gonna do first before I do that, because I won't be able to once I do that. We're gonna put adhesive on that three quarter inch flap and we're just gonna fold that all down, okay? Now we're gonna put adhesive on that one and then I find it easier to fold it and then fold this side over line up top and bottom oh Sheila had all kinds of yummy ham and cheese potatoes and green beans and oh Brussels sprouts sorry yucky Baked beans, dinner rolls, and poke it poor cake. What's a poke it poor cake? Is that the one that you poke holes in? And then what do you pour inside the holes on yours? Okay. And so then you're just lining that up. So now you have kind of a rectangle cube. And we're going to poke the insides, the short flaps to the inside. This is where my seam is, so this is going to be the front, okay? So I'm going to adhere this back side down first, and I'm just going to put some liquid glue on there, and then we're going to put some liquid glue on this one. And then we're going to 
we're going to poke it down from the inside and make sure it all seals good. Okay. Again, there's my seam. I'm going to put that towards the back. And then I have a piece that is half an inch by eight and a half inches of old olive. And I'm just taking my bone folder, kind of breaking the creases a little bit. Ooh, pudding on it. Yum. And then whipped cream on top of that. All right. And then I think I'm going to use my seal. And I'm just going to put, I don't know, like a half an inch spot of adhesive. And then we're just going to attach that. And I made it even with the bottom of the ed top edge that's folded over. Okay. Let's see. All right. And then... I used my Stitch So Sweetly dies. I am going to miss those dies. We only have two weeks left with those, and then they will be gone. So I stamped the Just Thinking of You today on the Stitch So Sweetly. And then, of course, we're going to use dimensionals. All right, and I'm going to put the dimensionals on the bottom half. Top half I'm going to leave because I'm going to overhang it just a little bit. Hi, Sherry McGowan. How are you? Okay. And then we're just going to attach that up here. And then I am using the Loose Flower Flourishes. And I put them onto mini glue dots. I took two of the Pale Papaya ones. And we're just going to add those over here, and then another one over here, and then I put just a little drop of glue, teeny tiny, and I'm going to take one of the teeny tiny little fresh freesia ones. If I was a good tweezer user, this would be an event for it. Actually, my pick tool would work pretty good, too. Okay, and we're just going to leave that on there to dry. And there's our little May basket. You can, and I'll pull in the finished ones so I don't move those. Okay, and so then it is, let's see, about three and three quarters inches tall by three inches wide. So there's not a ton of space. You could put some of the little crimps down in there, add some little candies, poke up some little artificial flowers even, and you've got a fun little basket. And then it's flowers all the way around. Okay. If you don't want, if you just want just a couple little things to, so somebody knows you're thinking of them. Sorry. All right. So the second one, we are starting with, a piece that is five and a half inches by seven inches, okay? And so with the seven inch at the top in your um, either paper trimmer or your Simply Scored, you're going to score it at three inches and four inches. So there's an inch in between three inches on each end. And then you're going to turn it so that the five and a half inch is at the top, and you're going to score it at one inch down both sides, okay? And then we're going to take our paper snips. Nope, that's not where I want to do this one. This one's a little backwards. And you know what? I'm going to show you. You can use your scissors, but I like to use my paper trimmer as much as I can because I know I get straight lines. Okay, I'm going to try to do it from the top so that you can see. Okay, we're going to line it up at one inch, which is where we scored it, and then we're going to cut from the top to the score line. Okay, so again, remember this little jagged part right here is where the blade is. So we're cutting down to the score line, and then we're going to raise it up a little bit, and we're going to come down to the other end, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up to the score line. And then we're going to scoot it, 
and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm lining it up at the one inch line, and then we're gonna cut up to the score line, raise it up to the top, and cut down to the score line. Okay, so now we have this. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so now we're gonna fold it on all the score lines. Bring that one in and that one in and then we're gonna fold these in those other little bag box type thing are great for like showers for little party favors for birthday parties you could make them in a masculine print okay so now we are going to put adhesive on this one of the long ones on this side. And then it's, oops, I overdid it. Yeah, let me find a piece of scratch here. Okay, we are going to scoop that back off. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are going to, I'll try not to get glue everywhere this time, how's that? Okay, so again, we're just folding those in. So right now, this is what you have. You could put Hershey Nuggets standing up in here or you could lay them down and kind of stack them too high. You can probably get four. I was gonna to try to do that, but I don't seem to have any Hershey Nuggets right now. Okay, so this is just going to fold like this and it's not going to seal. You're gonna be able to open it all the way up, okay? So then, this is Mango Melody. So I used the flowering fields again. I used the tulip with the mango and pumpkin pie. And so we're just going to adhere. These pieces, the designer paper, are two and five eighths by three and an eighth. And the pumpkin pie um, cardstock is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And so we are going to adhere onto one side. And then we're going to do the other side. Okay, turn it over and put adhesive on there. And then all right. These tulips are so pretty. I out of this package, I really like this one and then the um, Razzleberry and Fresh Freesia that I've been using. Okay, so now we're going to hold those two top edges together and I'm going to pull in my crocodile. You can use any hole punch that you have. Let me get and hold my edges together and we're going to come down in here and punch a hole and then I have a piece, piece of the pale papaya ribbon. It's about seven inches. And then I have the light pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend. And we're just going to color on here. And it does go through to both sides. I did flip it over and just kind of did the top edge again, just to make sure. because I wanted that a little bit darker so that it would show up a little better than the pale papaya. Okay, and then I took, oh, you know what? Let's hold off on that. All right, and on this one, I used my layering circles and I did the smallest scallop and the smallest basic white. And again, I stamped the words, just thinking of you today. And then we're going to adhere this onto this and it just gives you a tiny little border and then we're going to add our dimensionals 
And I'm also going to add a brushed brass butterfly onto there. Okay, and we're gonna bring this back in. We're gonna line our, no, I found it easier just to do one at a time. We're gonna take our ribbon through the hole and then through the hole and then we're just going to hold it together we're going to i have i think it was about 16 inches of white basic twine and i'm folding it in half and then I'm just wrapping it around, tying it into a bow around the colored pumpkin pie ribbon. And I just tied it into a little bow. And then we'll snip that, we'll snip that. And then, let's get that back up into view. And then, we're gonna add this onto the front of it. And we are all done. This is a great way to use up the smaller pieces of designer paper that you have. Again, the designer paper here is two and five eighths by three and an eighth. And I did it on both sides. Okay, and then you've got just enough room for just a little treat on May Day. Okay, so there's our two projects for today. Um, make sure that you comment and share because, again, I will have a prize next week. Um, keep an eye out on my Facebook group and my Facebook page. There is supposed to be a big sale maybe announced tomorrow, um, and then I will tie on to that a little bit. So, okay. So everybody have a great Monday. I will see you next Monday, the 25th, which is the last Monday of the month. Um, we may do a little sneak peek out of the new catalog for that one. I've got to see what else is going on. Okay. So have a great night and a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.